All right, chat. I have had it up to here with U.S. immigration. I don't want there to be no confusion. I think the U.S. immigration process is a laughable, pathetic joke. In fact, it's not laughable because I'm not giggling. You don't see me spitting up with a smile on my face, kicking my feet in my my high chair. It is terrible. Pardon my French, but it is poop. It is so- Wait, wait. Is Moist really fucking talking about this shit? Moist finna finna bust out and spit some fucking game real quick? Oh, unbelievably horrible. In particular, I am angry at one individual. Just one specific individual. The U.S. immigration agent that's handling our case. But this oh. individual is infamous in the esports scene for declining teams and people. Oh, oh, he is saying they make it hard? Yeah, I figured, I figured he was fun going for the progressive take, but for like a second there, I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. He is from Florida. Oh, shit. Not the stereotype, but oh, shit, my boy. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. For the most ridiculously stupid reasons. Oh, my God. A month ago, I made a video kind of going over the basics of what I'm going to be diving into deeper today. In a nutshell, our esports team, Moist Esports, has an Apex roster. And we're one of the best in the world. We are currently ranked fourth in in A, with still Dude, another that's whole crazy. series to play. We're still a whole series behind the people around us, and we're still top four. We're a fucking outrageous squad of maniacs out there. Some of the best <sighs> talent Apex has ever seen. Our team came from Australia. Our plan for the season was to bring them to NA, where the competition is more fierce. NA is they can't get them from Australia to the U.S. Are you kidding me? A powerhouse in Apex. So we brought them over to NA and then at the very last second got rejected by US immigration and they were declined entry into this country. So what? we had the last second pivot change all of our plans and get them to Canada so they could still play this split. So they're currently in Canada and we've been actively trying to get them to the US. And I cannot overstate how much of a noose. Yo, this might be a bad take. Or, uh, sorry, not a bad take. This is a take. This might be um a bad take to some of you guys. Is somebody that has tried many times to be patriotic about the state that I'm from and the country that I'm from, I have sadly come to realize that there is not at this point much to be patriotic about, right? There is a couple of things that the US has that not many countries has that is is awesome, you know, freedom of speech. Shit like that. Um, but I feel like the immigration and shit like that, like the way that the U.S. handles it, I, I, you know, I get it. I get it. You know, you're being biased towards your team. But th we're like holding it like America is just like, like heaven on earth. And it's like, yo, brother, <laughs> we don't even have free health care, dude. Shut up. Just fucking, it, it's not like we need, we need to figure out a system. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Uh, immigration was one of the things I'm the least amount uh, educated in right but it just seems like we have a we have a serious issue here you know obviously obviously it was such a huge thing what up manual how you doing dude he gives all immigrants and foreigners a bad rap for the people who actually have respect for the country that houses them the immigration system is fucked they gotta know more to become a citizen than i even i know i just got lucky because i was born here yeah dude yeah yeah it's a shame bro it's a shame since it was to get that rejection when we did because it came at the very end of an extremely long drawn-out tedious process where just oh no chucky i'm sorry you're having such a problem with the with the fucking ranked overwatch Ugh. i almost played valorant tonight and then i was like nah, I, I, I um i uh you know i value my joy i'm having a pretty good night i'm not gonna fuck it up just out of nowhere they decided to flip Chicken burger in the air fryer or oven? The oven takes 45 minutes and air fryer tat air fryer. Go air fryer, bro. I love air fryers, bro. I love air fryers. The switch saying, nope, actually, they're not welcome here. Declined. And Yo, Lil, that's valid. No, that's valid. You're valid. Nothing we could have done to rectify it or change it. They just decided they didn't like us anymore, so they declined it fundamentally with no what? real reason. And since this is such a slow process, I swear to God, it might be one of the slowest things on the planet. U.S. immigration moves slower than Robert De Niro and the Irishman. It Dude, that's one of the biggest problems with our government, too. And uh, this was one of the things that, like, made me, like, tap in and start to learn more about, like, politics and stuff. Because Andrew Yang started talking about it. I listened to him on the H3 podcast back in, like, 2020. Um, the U.S. is, like, 
not only are they super slow, but they're also like 20 years behind when it comes to like uh, technology and shit, um, which is a big problem. And that's part of the reason why, in my opinion, the U.S. is starting to like crumble a little bit in a lot of situations. Again, listen, I know that we have a lot of viewers in here that feel like very patriotic about the U.S. and shit. Uh, and I hope that the opinions I'm saying or other people say in this chat don't make you feel any type of way or so far in a way that you feel like you can't hang out here. Because I do, I, I do try and empathize, empathize and see your viewpoint and understand. And there is, there is, um, there's a lot of things to like be patriotic about in America. I just think that, uh, a lot of times it's held to a very weird standard. Um, Yeah. Like a weird, like a lot of people like talk like this is like, again, like heaven on earth. And it's like, no, we have our own problems and we need to realize that. And if there are people in other countries that are, are willing to come here and believe in the American dream and be as patriotic as the fucking, as anyone, then those people should be allowed here. Or even like a team like this that re realistically in a way could help the U.S. economy. You know what I'm saying? Like if we're talking, if we're going to like a more, um you know, right-wing talking point, you know what I'm saying? Um, or view, you know? Like, they could help the economy. <laughs> like, they aren't going to deny a fucking NFL team. Not that there's any NFL teams in different parts of the country or different parts of the world yet. But if there was, if there was an NFL team in Germany, they wouldn't decline the Germany or the German NFL team to come fucking play in the U.S., you know? They're going to decline a soccer team from coming and playing in the U.S., And that's absolutely fair. We'll never be able to unite because I with everything going on in the world right now. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's rough. The only reason I like America is I can go down the street and get a burger with 26 patties. That's sick. Yo, what's up, Goofy? How you doing, bro? It is fucking d disgraceful how awful the optimization is for this process. So all we could do was get them to Canada so they could still play this split here in NA like we had planned on. And GFL? while they're doing that, we're still trying to get them to the U.S. The NFL sucks. All right, brother, I'm about to get real patriotic right now, brother. Yo, it's a purple. But it's nowhere near the same talent level. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure Germany, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Germany is one of the, like, four places that the NFL uh, is talking about um, adding a team to if they go, like, expand. Yeah, Emmanuel, yeah, dude. I'd just be streaming on YouTube just to give people another option if people really like watching YouTube. Um, it's not something I'm really focused on. I'm be honest, I'm not even like, even when it comes to YouTube, I'm more focused on the other YouTube channel that I have that streams like vertical sometimes. But I appreciate you stopping through. Like people like you, you know, stop and say what's up. Anyway, sorry, let me continue. Now, initially we didn't really understand why they were declined. All we knew is this sometimes happens in the esports scene. My little tinfoil hat theory was that the agent was afraid of Waltzy. Waltzy is one of our players, one of the best in the world, and he also happens to be a power lifter. So perhaps uh they were just <laughs> worried that he'd pose a national security risk for being too strong, that he'd go around snapping Americans in half. All we could do was really speculate and resubmit, which we did. And now we've received a response from the resubmission forms and after going through everything with lawyers and making sure it is as buttoned up as possible with all of the best in the industry, I am happy to say we are still fucking struggling because the agent is a geriatric fossil that is absolutely just out for some kind of vendetta. I think they might just hate the word moist. That's probably a very real what? possibility. But they have asked us to submit even more evidence and even more clarification on things, which ordinarily I would have no problem with. But we've already done this once. We did this song and dance last time only to get rejected many weeks after doing that. This isn't a fast process. If it was fast, I wouldn't care. I'd be like, oh, okay, you need more papers, more documents, more clarification. Fine, we can provide all of that tomorrow and uh, hopefully hear from you in the next day or two. That's not how... What's up, GG Box? How goes it, gangsta? I went to Denny's and we had a waitress from London. I was super stoned. Her accent had me cracking up the whole time. Me and my homie were there. Yo, what's up, Stormin? How goes it, bro? How it works. Because after we do submit all of those, you know, further appeals for evidence, it takes weeks, multiple weeks Sigma. for them to Sigma. respond. And they, they, they barely fucking look at what you submit, I feel. In the last video, I mentioned that our agent didn't believe us that we were placing so high and they didn't bother to look into it at all. Well, that is another thing that is a fucking problem because they still don't believe our placements. Our team crushes it at the majors and we- Start mewing, no cap. 
Storm, you know cap? Okay, I got you. My bad, man. You're number 12 at the World Championship. And one of the things they need clarification on is why they should believe us that those placements are real or important. <laughs> you rat bastard, what do you mean? We are submitting the official standings, the official placements for these majors in the World Championship. What do you mean you don't trust that? What? Uh, uh, actually, uh, I wasn't there, so I didn't see it. Uh, I can't. Mm, this must be a fucking lie. Fly yourself out to the next fucking major and watch us then. Like, what What do you mean? It, it's crazy how they can just pull that out of their ass. Like, oh, why should we believe the official standings? <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> you thought you could pull a fast one on U.S. immigration? <laughs> no, sir. It's so stupid. It's so fucking stupid. But that's not the one I want to get hung up on. I'm actually oh. going to just read this to you verbatim. I'm not going to show you it because that might be a legal issue. But I absolutely just have to put this out here. I, I feel like I'm in the loony dimension reading this. <laughs> I am convinced that there's not a human being on the other side of this conversation. I believe that our lawyers have been contacted and communicating with Cleverbot, who is <laughs> for some reason representing the U.S. Immigration Services. It is so outrageously dumb. So you're going to need a little context behind this before getting into it. So... When bringing the team to the land of the free, home of the brave, we were instructed to have a high-ranking EA official kind of glaze us to what? help convey to... Basically, a high-ranking EA official kind of... <laughs> ...on that shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> ...the U.S. Immigration Services that our team is internationally significant to this scene. The Germany doesn't have a good track record either? Oh. Now... When it comes to getting teams over here, this is what every esports org has to do. They have to convince the immigration services that their team is highly competitive, a top team that is worthy to come over here and start bleeding cheeseburgers like a true red-blooded American. <laughs> so that's what we were doing, and we had a high-ranking EA individual kind of talking on our behalf. And again, this is something that they, the U.S. Immigration Services, wanted. They didn't fucking believe that he's actually a real official. So let me read this to you. What? Written statement from an official of the sports governing body, which is who we were talking to. You may, have su you may submit evidence from an official of the sports governing body describing how the athlete or team is internationally recognized. The evidence you submitted is insufficient. You submitted a testimonial from, redacted, I'm not going to drop their name, about the beneficiaries, redacted, is a senior manager at Electronic Arts EA. But USCIS cannot determine that his position is considered an official of a governing body in esports. Additionally, he mentioned that the beneficiaries have had high placements in several competitions in the ALGS year three season. Rejected! However, USCIS cannot determine how the placements constitute as international reputation. As previously discussed, ALGS does not appear to require athletes or teams with international reputation to participate in the competitions. As such, there is insufficient evidence to demonstrate that having such placements in ALGS competitions equate to international reputation. You may still submit evidence to satisfy this criterion. I'm going to have a conniption. Uh -huh. you e excuse me. Still playing with cash registers, huh, Squiddy? What kind of place is this? You wanted us to prove that our placements were real and we had a high-ranking EA who, of course, uh, they own Apex, represents th that side, talk on our behalf to confirm that the placements are real. <laughs> but Sounds good, you Austin. don't believe that that official, whom you even cite their position in this statement, actually represents them, <gasps> is actually part of the official governing body of the eSport? How can you not believe them? You even cite their position in your statement, a position that constitutes the esports side. What do you mean? And then you say that the placements don't necessarily mean international reputation. What the fuck does then? How could any team possibly get into the country through this game if even the highest placements don't constitute international reputa reputation to satisfy your criterion? It doesn't make any fucking sense. The agent here is well known in the esports scene because we've talked to numerous other uh, orgs and all of them have had to deal with this person and all of them have horror stories about them so much oh, so that the majority of we got some old ass boomer some old ass boomer in the fucking the government bro uh oh motherfucker don't understand 
Motherfucker, it's the same motherfucker that shit on that kid for fucking being Tetris. Them have found ways to circumvent ever having to deal with them and going through other people. That is how- Video games are not a job! How bad at their job this person is. A job that is extremely important and carries a lot of weight for so many people, and this absolute brain-dead goober can't be bothered <laughs> to do the bare minimum of just activating a few neurons up here to even process what the fuck they're saying. Or what they're asking for. And when we submit the evidence that satisfies sufficiently what they want, they still are not accepting it for inexplicable reasons. That is not a reason what they've given there. How can you not believe that one of the highest ranking officials at EA for this area is not trustworthy or insufficient or doesn't represent the governing body? That is mind-bogglingly silly. It's, it has to be malicious. It has to be malicious. No one can be- And he slapped the kid? What? This stupid on accident and have this job. Again, this is a <laughs> job that is extremely important. And you have someone this incompetent there? I don't believe it. This has to be on purpose. It's a troll. Not only have we been working with lawyers who specialize- Also, you got four minutes left until your chicken burger's ready. Sounds good, Ken. You enjoy that, okay? ...in this area, but we have been working with other orgs who have successfully gone through this process Albeit, it seems they've done it with other individuals. Not this fucking womp from Super Mario 64 <laughs> that we've unfortunately been cursed with over there at the U.S. Immigration Office. This Let's go, Juggy! This is How one person can just say, I, I just don't really feel like bothering to look into this at all, so I'm just going to say you're lying. I'll ask for more evidence and then not read it, and fuck you. That's just, that's absolute insanity. Even when we fulfill it, to a T and bring in an extremely high ranking EA official to speak yeah, that on our behalf crazy. to our achievements in the scene, they still won't even accept that. We what else can we yeah, do? What, these motherfuckers like, what want? else is there to do besides just somehow get a different agent, resubmit again, and pray, fingers crossed, we don't encounter this scourge. It's just ridiculous. Scourge? I just had to I had to rant about this again. After I was shown why we've been requested further information for the fucking like third time now, after being rejected, like it, it's, oh my lord, what in tarnation! I cannot believe how awful this process is, truly awful, and nonsensical. So yeah, I just had to rant about this again. There's a, your little moist esports uh, update for our Apex team. Our Apex team is fucking crushing it. Going to be watch partying their next game this Saturday. Hopefully more big dubs on the way. Our team is absolutely going fucking ballistic, so I love to see that. It's always a lot of fun. Feel free to stop into the streams. And hopefully pretty soon, you know, they can eventually come to the United States, like we had planned on many months ago. So, yeah. That's really about it. See ya. Have fun with them fucking Mounties, my boy. Have fun with them Mounties. <laughs> Have fun competing with the Mounties fucking watching your fucking uh, Airbnb in Canada, my boy. <laughs> Nah, dude, that's fucked, though, for real. U.S. got to do better. U.S. got to do better, for real. I mean, not even in this scenario. Um, I'm sure there's much more important scenarios that this in particular fucker has fucked. And also, our government has fucked. You know what I'm saying? Just It's just lame, dude. Lame. Got to do better. Got to do better as a whole. I feel bad for Moist and Moist Esports and everything that they can't get their fucking team to the U.S., like, do they need, like, a work visa? Is that the problem, do we think? Or they literally just can't even get into the fucking country. Go and search up Mr. Hands on Google. Oh, my friend. If only you knew how educated I was on Mr. Hands.